I like have daddy issues, okay. so I need like reassurance and stuff like that. Yeah. This is dragon. This one. Oh yeah, and then what we Let me put on from my nerves. <laughs> Let me put on from my nerves. Let me just say this. Okay, DJ Academics, calm down. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm the most depressed. Hi. How are you? You make quite the entrance. What makes you say that? Just out of um, you're just like very out there, like very colorful. I feel like you kind of are the type of person that kind of takes over the room when you walk in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the fact that you just kind of openly told me you were a giant pussy. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. About to hit this button on you so you can take your black and white ass fuck out of here. You he said see. black and white ass. <laughs> black and white? What, white and black? What was I supposed to say? I don't know. I don't even know. Black and white ass? Black and white ass. Because he's wearing black and white. That's not what people are gonna think. Well, well, they're gonna think that you're talking about the fact that he looks mixed. No, listen, if I'm talking about a mixed person, I just say hybrids. Right. I prefer hybrids. They're more eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> that has, has a better connotation, you know what I mean? You guys are better for the environment, you're yeah. the future. <laughs> so I'm trying to say the hybrids are the future, you know? Or if I wanna be extra disrespectful and almost like low key like <laughs> discriminatory, I'll be like half breeds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's that, that's that, that's that. That's that crazy talk. That's that crazy talk. Oh, uh, here, here's that little half breed. I'm like, damn, you talking about it like that's that's crazy. That's how they used to talk about yeah. the inter that's how they used yeah. to that was crazy, right? I'm sorry, I'm actually this. Okay, before I go, uh, I love your eyes. Thank you. Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> this is fashion. <laughs> she said, get out of here, lame -o. Uh here's the thing. He was being complimentary, which I understand, but you also don't have to start your compliments like she's above you. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good today. <laughs> honestly, I want to say I love your outfit. I like the like color thing you're going Thank with. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of like a bisexual shirt. Yeah, you know honestly, I mean? bi too. Uh -huh. yes. Same here, same yeah. here. Why did you reject him? I think he might have been a, a bit younger than me. Oh boy, like <laughs> I said. I, I done told you guys, like when you guys come into this mission, you guys look, listen, being younger than a woman isn't the issue. They'll say it is, it's not. It's about what it represents. You get what I'm trying to say? I done bagged enough older women, 10 years, 15 years, okay? And, and, and they might put up a little bit like, oh no, I'm not open to it. But they really just sometimes just testing you a little bit to see what you got going on. They put up the barrier, but they haven't closed the door. They're still there having the conversation. That's your opportunity to move on in, right? Because if she know you good, you got your shit together and you ain't living like a little boy, she gonna be with it. She gonna be with it. Especially when you come with that young, you know I mean, bedroom energy. She's not going to be against it either. So to all the young guys watching, you know what I mean, trying to bang the older ladies, it's not a problem. You can do it. It's going to be a little bit harder. The barrier to entry is a little bit higher. But the possibility is there. And that's all we need. You want to know why? Because the penis is a dreamer. And this is one dream you can't achieve. Now vote for ABBA in 2024. <laughs> How are you doing? You know, I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm Faith. I'm Emma. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Does Emma make you nervous? A little bit, yeah. Why? <laughs> because you're pretty. <laughs> she wants somebody to just lay down the law and just mash up her place. You feel me? She wants somebody to come through. What place? Yeah, you know I mean? What place? She wants somebody to sand her walls. You get what I'm hey. trying to say? Redo her pelvic floor. Wash it up. Yeah, she here. wants you to come in with Timberlands and Boom. be like, bitch, you knock, ready to land? Knock, knock. Because we going to get these jokes. Let me redo the punchline. This dick. You get yes. me? Knock, knock. Who's there? It's going down, and by me, he's going down. You going down on me? Let's get it pop. You know what I mean? That's what she. she but all these people are like, <laughs> and they melting in front of her. No way, trying to. So, I mean, we, we ain't trying to hear that shit. Oh. Am I pretty? Oh yeah. yeah, of course. Oh, smoke show. Yeah. You heard that? She said, "Smoke show. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous." She's still gonna buzz her out the first chance she gets. Bet you fifty dollars. Well, what's something fun you've done in the last week? I went to like my friend's lake house and mm. went like wine tasting. Nice. So. Oh hell yeah. Love that. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you're gorgeous. Her. You're pretty. Watch. I promise yeah, you, some somebody more mature gonna come in this bitch. No, no, a whole ass stud. They need. She need. If a whole ass studs come, I don't. She might be. No, she no. She, not a stud. She needs someone that's more certain. Hello, hello. Okay, what should what should we talk about? Um, do you like tattoos? I do. I don't have any though. Okay. You know? What do you like? In terms of tattoos. Yes. I do play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, and but okay. I think a twenty sided dice would be so dorky. Hey, hey, I'm not even gonna lie. I play D and D too. Am I was profit? What you rolling as? A goblin? A human? A fur bog? An elf? Come on. Think... What level's your character? What campaign you playing in? What kind of, how, listen, you want to get a level five fireball going, fireball going, we, we get it popping, you know what I'm saying? 
hey, listen, my subclass, play a player. Come on, we're going to say. What? Is this role playing? Aren't you pro BDSM? Pro what? Yeah, you're like, you're like, you're very like, oh, sex positive. Like, oh, you know, the, the BDSM. I'm not pro BDSM. What the fuck did you get that? Yeah, yeah, you're always like sex positive. Like, you got a whole podcast just being no, like, oh my God. If motherfucker these wants- ladies doing the nightlife are so amazing. Like is is that what this is? Yeah, you know, like oh, ladies, that whole dungeon and dragon shit. That's what it was. No, no, he's like, I don't like. That, that, no, that, no, 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 no. I don't the, appreciate the, the dungeon and dragon. This was, was, oh yeah, and this is what we. Let me put on from my nerves. <laughs> Let me put on from my nerves. Let me just say this. Okay, DJ, all the nerves, you can calm down. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the motherfucking best. <laughs> okay, let me say this. On behalf Big of, yeah, listen, 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 listen. Big nerds in the building, okay? Let me say this, okay? Ooh. On behalf of the nerds, fucking. I resent the fact that people are like, "Oh my God, don't hang shame." You know what I mean? You want to do this? You want to be into role play? Whatever suits your boat. And the motherfuckers do role play for leisure, for fun games, and everybody acts like you, 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 you're a school shooter in the making. Like, just bro, fucking, let me chill. We just fucking go in. Y'all motherfucker roll dice over here. It's stupid. What you mean you go in? And you have superpowers. Those superpowers we guys are dick. That's it. You motherfuckers out there just wing on, wing on, playing fucking laser swords or whatever the fuck you're yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. It's stupid. It's, it's just stupid. Yeah. Only dragon. Yo, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm going to put his fucking Instagram right in the pin comment. All you nerds, this is your chance for some revenge, okay? Y'all let him know how you feel about the fact that he disrespected your hobby. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Uh, I didn't appreciate that. Suck my dick. Yeah, it's gonna, we're going to relive high school all over again. Yeah. Yeah? You going to show in the lockers? Yeah. Yo. Put yourself in the locker and that's it. Well, shout out to my D&D nerds. That's right. That was me in the lockers back then, but I'm taking my revenge on you. If you come at me, I'm going to come at you. Yeah, she started talking about D&D and 27-sided dice. A little bit crazy for my taste, but, you know, shout-outs to her. I, I appreciate the D&D. What the fuck you're talking about? You know, you have, like, six-sided dice. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six-sided dice. dice. So you, sometimes you have a 10-sided dice, so one to 10, one to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants a 27 one for some reason. Right. <laughs> You know, your face is your money maker, the first thing that people see, and you have to take care of that. I understand that it's not for everybody. It's not everybody that know how to do it and know how to take care of their skin. Well, that's a wonderful timing that you have here because we have this wonderful project that I'm using to clear off everything in my skin and my pores, TH Henley. What I would suggest you to do I suggest you to take and to start with the level one system. It's a box. What kind of products they got in the box? I'm about to tell you right now. Well, first of all, they have a face wash. They don't want to get all in the nooks and crannies, all the pores, get all the grime out. Boom. They have a moisturizer as a SPF uh, 20 in there. You know, to have a little protection from the sun. They have instruction with the products that you're going to use. They tell you when to use the products, how to use the products. Go on the link below right now click on the link below and save 30 percent off your first purchase and also you can get a free gift from th henley i'm just saying if you wash your booty wash your beauty that was genius gabrielle gabrielle and yours is naja oh, <laughs> Oh, here she comes trying to make new friends. Like, yo, every time this girl's on screen, like, let's be friends. Like, that's all we're here for. We want to see somebody who might potentially fuck each other. That's what we hear. Nyjah. Nyjah. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Very nice to meet you. So tell me about yourself. Graphic designer. Oh, goodness. I uh, hate that question. I don't know why Okay. Do you think Nyjah's cute? Yeah. I like your nose rings and I like your tattoos. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're fire. Do you think she's cute? I do. You're, oh. you're an attractive human being. I... <laughs> <laughs> An attractive human being. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's your sexual orientation? Me? Both of you. I'm bisexual. Pansexual. I I am transgender. Mm-hmm. That's your natural orientation. But whatever. I don't know anything. I think it's going to explain why she's pansexual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's pansexual. Yeah, he. I haven't dated other trans people, but I'm open to it. What about you? What do you mean? Like, because bisexual is like, you could care about the gender. Yeah. I do care about the gender. <laughs> so I guess I was right. All right. Move on. 
I'm just trying to understand that conversation. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I mean, I, cause I need to break it down. So you're bisexual. Yeah. As you do care about the gender. Yeah. Pansexual don't, don't care. Sure. But you're trans, right? You went from, from, from woman to man. Yeah. So you're part of the bi. No. Japan. Mm -hmm. That has, that's one thing. She talked about another thing. Which means she's part of the bi. She's not part of the bi. Okay. Let me, let me try to understand. Yeah, go ahead. If you say, bro, this math is crazy. Okay. Because this is a transgender, pansexual, non-conforming gender binary. You know what I mean? It's like, this is a sickness of the highest order. They are all engaging in confusion. This person, okay, is... A trans man. Okay. She's open to bi people. So, you know, so both both men and women. What are you talking about? The girl. She's open to men and women. The trans person? No. The girl. Oh, the girl. You said she was trans man. If I said the girl, you should know who the fuck that was. I was just testing Yeah, you. no, I no, no. I'm I testing you. Take, no, I'm good. Listen. I'm good. Listen. I'm you, good. Hey, I'm hey, making hey, sure hey, we're on hey, the same thing. Y'all saw how problematic that was? No, that's not Dead problematic. Name. We're just trying to... No, we're just <laughs> trying don't, to... Don't crack a smile. <laughs> don't crack a smile. <laughs> Nigga, you know. You smile look, too. Look at that face. Yeah, but I know I'm evil. You need to admit it too. But I know I'm evil. Yeah, welcome to today's mean? episode of D&D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get the fuck Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, the trans man... Yes. No, the girl. You talk about the girl. The girl's bi. The girl is bi. Yeah. He's pan. Okay. Meaning he's attracted to people's personality. Yeah. She's attracted to people uh, who fit either binary, but whatever beyond that. He fits one of the binary. You get what I'm trying to say? He's a trans man. Yeah, but I think the the, the way the reason why he why he buzzed was because they do not agree on what they care about. See, he doesn't care about gender. She cares about gender. It's like, that's a deal breaker to them. That's the reason why he buzzed. Okay, that makes sense. But my my thing is, okay, yeah. hypothetical. If I say I'm into women, and then the girl across from me says she's into intelligence, we can still date. We don't have to be into the same things. That's not, that was the, what, she, what she said was a deal breaker to him. Yo, that's stupid. She it's just, so stupid. I, just said, I don't care. I don't care about gender. That's she dumb. said I care about gender, and they were like, "Well, deal breaker." That's that, it. That's dumb. <laughs> bye, bye, Gabrielle. You're funny. I just want to let you know we uh, can be your friends. Be your friends. Oh, the fucking friends thing again. <laughs> you said that. Oh my god, this <laughs> bitch always comes on trying to make friends. You said that, bro. That's like people on Tinder. Like I'm just here for friends. Wrong at. Get on Facebook and start requesting, stupid. Why are you here? Go on Instagram and slide in DMs. Hey, no, don't even do that. Because they're not trying to be friends there either. <laughs> That's facts. They, Instagram is for That's dating, facts. okay? That's facts. It is the only and is the That's best. Facts. It is the best dating app. It just happens to be unofficial. Nigel, why did you reject her? Well, she cared about the gender. That's It's just per personal preference. That's cool. You're right. But like... I thought we were vibing though. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. How are you? This is that OnlyFans model who got rejected by that woman because apparently women don't want to date OnlyFans models either. Wow. <laughs> Just wanted to be petty and remind everyone that, yeah. <laughs> Sapphire, what's one of your red flags? I like have daddy issues, okay. so I need like reassurance and stuff like that. Yeah. Nigel, reassure her. Give her some compliments. Compliments? No, okay. First thing I noticed <laughs> was the piercings. Love the piercings. Thank you. Second thing, <laughs> eyes. Thank you. Eyes are thank a big you. thing for me. Yeah, I mean, I can shower you with compliments. Oh, uh -huh, thank you. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> are you sexually attracted to each other? I definitely am sexually attracted to you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not like super sexually attracted to you. Yeah. Can I ask why? Why? Well, just because, like, since I've been, like, a lesbian, like, most of my life. Okay. And I just recently started, like, dating guys and stuff. Yeah, but I'm I always did. open to, like, whatever, you know? I shared last time um, that I'm trans. Transgender. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. The bitch, don't act like you didn't know. <laughs> she went, she didn't say, she went, oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> 
so I don't know if that like plays into your sexuality yeah. or anything. It honestly probably would. Okay. So it depends on the person, definitely, definitely. Cool. And I'm an open-minded girl, so Hail. you know, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Yeah. All right. So um, what would you say you feel as like spirituality? Like how do you feel about that? Because um, I do like to go ghost hunting. Okay. So are you like okay. comfortable with that? I'm totally comfortable. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've had some paranormal encounters. Oh, really? Um, oh, my goodness. I've she sounds like the most unprofessional ghost hunter ever. Like, let, let's say if you were really going for a ghost. I'm not going for And that. you had to hire the ghost hunter. She picks up like, oh my goodness, welcome. We're going to be ghost hunting today. But, but first, how about we take a selfie? I'm going to go red one last time. And if neither of you hit me, I'm setting you two up on a second date. <laughs> I'm not going to hit the button. <laughs> okay, I won't hit it either. Yo. <laughs> Congratulations. So I don't think so. I think she really opened minded. There's some people. Okay, I want you guys to appreciate something because I actually like what this girl did. What? What she do? How many times have we seen people on the come on the button and reject people for the dumbest reasons? Well, yeah, he just did. Okay. How many times have some of the ugliest people come on the button and rejected people for the dumbest reasons? Fair. And now you have a relatively attractive woman mm -hmm. who comes on. She's been on two episodes, been with people who were less attractive than she was, and she's been open-minded both times. I will say, to her defense, and something I think is respectable, she's open-minded to some degree. More so than a lot of people who come on these shows. So, even though we you know, critique people when they're hypercritical, the fact that she says, you know what, I'm going to just take a chance. You're interesting, I'm not sure, but like, let's see. I think that's a good quality. Sometimes people have such rigid things when it comes to dating before they've even done much dating. And so they're already closing themselves from experiences that they might actually enjoy because they were like, no, no, that's a red line for me. It's like, bitch, you drew that red line when you were like 18 and you've never even been inside a pussy. What do you, what do you, you don't know what a red line is. You have no reason why you even drew it. You just heard something on a podcast or somebody told you. You don't know. So I think people like her in a way especially considering her career, being open-minded makes me respect it. I think it's commendable. Maybe maybe it's just because of her career, she has no choice to be open-minded. Like, she don't have the choice to be that much, like, super strict and shit like that. Like, not much motherfuckers are going to put up with whatever the hell you're doing. It's a fact. Maybe, it is what it is. Maybe. So maybe it's, maybe it's that. Maybe. Which, Let well, me ask you, though. Go ahead. She does OnlyFans. It makes it harder for her, right? Yeah. Okay. Does being ugly make it harder for you? Yeah. How many ugly people came on this show and still were unreasonable? Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. In fact, most of the unreasonable people we saw so far were a lot of the ugly people. And so I can appreciate... It's not so much how ugly you is. How much you think about yourself. And how much you have a chance to... Not, like, the thing that happened with the button, how it's not real. And it's uh -huh. not really based on ugly or not. And the fact that you're now you're on the same level playing field if you're ugly or not it's not it doesn't matter because mm. the rejection is not me saying ew you're not coming to me the button put us together see that's why it's i can't take it like that because the button put us together and the only thing that's going to make me reject you i can actually reject you as much as you can re reject me whereas in real life is if i come up to me if i come up to you and you see me you reject me you know what I mean? And the button is not really... That's the thing. So, because the button can put motherfuckers at the same level playing field where it's really just a question of speed, more of a question of I'm ugly and you're pretty, right? Or how I think about myself or whatever. It's whoever's going to be like, I can actually reject you. I have, if I'm quick enough. Not based on my look. In real life, if I'm ugly, I'm going to get more rejected more. But... You understand what I'm saying? We agree on that. I want to make sure because I'm saying the sex worker is open-minded, and so that's why she's having more success with this stuff. She's being patient. She's not just swiping the next person. She's yeah. being open-minded with whoever she chooses. Yeah. The ugly people are not and having less success, right? Mm -hmm. So my point being is I commend her because she's open-minded with who she's choosing. I agree with that. Okay? And so she's having more success, whereas the ugly people who have less to offer are coming on and being more demanding. Okay, so we agree, we agree, we agree on that. Okay, so then I think at the end of the day, the point still stands, which is... What's good about the sex worker in this case, the person that we're talking yeah. about, right? Is she came on. She says, I'm going to just see what it is. I'm going to meet whoever. And even if it's not great, I'm going to look at it for what it is. Yeah. The ugly people come on and be like, I'm going to be super demanding and this and that. Yeah, because now they can. 
Because they're disillusioned. Yes. Okay. Because this is not real life. Because it, it, because on real life, they can actually they, they, they cannot be that much disillusioned because they they can. Okay. And they are. You don't think ugly people are not disillusioned in real life? Sure. But if you say so, if you say they are, they are. Do you think ugly people? So wait, all those women going on Kevin Samuel's live who are fat, overweight, and say want yeah. a million dollar, are they not disillusioned? Yeah, I'm not saying the opposite. I said yeah, they are disillusioned. But then why are you saying in real life they're not? That's why I'm confused. Not as much. They have more chances to be disillusioned. They they have more chances of acting like that mm -hmm. the way they're acting right now. Be just like oh yeah, they're, you know just 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 eh, I'm I'm better than whatever the hell I am. Mm -hmm. They have more chances on the button because they have a sense of competition and they, it's really just about speed. Than in real life, okay. where in real life they're really just gonna be like swipe, okay, yeah, next. But I I have all the work to do. Whereas the button, the button brings the next person. I don't have to go. I don't have to go swipe. I don't have to do that. So it amplifies the fact that they are disillusioned. Yeah. So doesn't that mean that the sex worker is even better as a result? Yes. Because even though that disillusionment is there, she doesn't buy into it whatsoever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Glad we had that talk. Huh? What'd you say? I said, glad we had that talk. <laughs> Anything else? No. This sounds like there is. You, you rolling your eyes? Go ahead. No, I'm good. Well. <laughs>